So, Auntie Dana here, and normally, I always do a little live or a little video when things are on my mind. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of these little snippets of video that are very informative more often when I'm in my little quiet space. So, it's 2024 approaching, right? And I want to start a fresh leaf, a new leaf, like get a new book and rewrite it. So, the old book, I got show that away, and this new book, I want to start it on the new journey, the new year that is coming. And one of the things that I get asked a lot is, how come you surpass all challenges that is thrown at you? Or should I say, that comes your way? How come you move past certain things? How come you excel? How come you elevate? One of the main things I want to tell person is that we must focus. Focus on your journey. Ask yourself, what do you want out of life? Where you want to go in the next five year, one year, two year? And set the goals that you want to achieve. Now, in order to achieve a goal, you know, we cannot be distracted. So, you can't say you want to go up at the top of the hill. And the time, if you, when you travel up at the top of the hill, you stop by if you see every roadblock and every obstacle that is placed in front of you. And that is what happened to a lot of people. Now, instead of the focus should be on our journey and on ourselves, a lot of the time, our focus is what other persons are doing or what other persons are saying or where other person reach or where other person going and you're not going. I want to take this time out to say that in life, success is not something that is handed to you. Success is not something that you can go down the road and go pick up or your friends can give you. Success in anything that you do is something where you work for. Success comes when you can get up each morning or each day and go out there in the mud, the rain, the snow, the fire, the storm, the murky waters, and go do what you feel. Walk through it, go through it, and persevere through it. More successful people in a life, when you see them with things, or you see them reach to a certain point in a them life, don't think that them get up this morning and they become successful like that. Distractions will come, people will come, and things will come to deter you from reaching your point or your journey or the point of where you want to go to make yourself better in life everybody want good for themselves me don't know about uno but me and also me want all that is good all that is best all that is excellent and all that auntie dana or dana marie mogo must get I mean, we say, oh, no, know that too. And in order for us to do that, we cannot allow other people's success, other people's business, or anything that anyone else is doing to interfere with where we're going. So, for example, you get up this morning, and when you get up this morning, instead of you say, okay, make your count and fry five banana. I go look over in my friend pot or my neighbor pot to cook to see how much banana them are fry or how much them fry for the whole day. No, that is not the way to go about success. Success is starting out with your one banana, your two banana and frying them, getting rid of them or frying them and taking them out of the way so that you can reach to three more banana and four more banana. In life, we only get one life. Sometimes a lot of people get many opportunities. Some of us only get one opportunity. And you see, with that one opportunity, we have to make use of the opportunity. And remember that we now stay young all the days of our life. Every day that we wake up, we get older. We're not the same that we were yesterday. And I want to tell somebody that people often ask, why you come in a social media or you come and you came you saw and you conquered you know what none of this that i am seeing happening right around me now was planned none of it was sit down on a pencil and write out and play out and say okay this is what i am going to do 
You know, I never get any big education like a lot of people did get in them life. And I don't know what it is to have certain privilege in life, educational wise. I know that I had to fend for myself. And I know that if I can go in an office and type up and do filing work and the jacket work and do all different type of work, I had to do something that I could make a living from. And I found something that I loved and not only did I loved cooking and baking and staying in my kitchen. I was passionate about it. Now when you are passionate about doing something that you love, you will always thirst and hunger to do it. People will not get you distracted. People, what people say about you, what you are doing, will not demotivate you. It will only motivate you. Whatever businesses that you are doing and persons are saying bad things about it, are bring it, bring it down. Those bad comments are bad saying should be something of. That will want you to fight or to push further or to be better at your craft. Now, the moment that you are going to sit back or sit around and look on and allow what people say about you to stop you from pushing, to stop you from going there, is the moment that you allow people to win. And I, as a woman, I want to tell persons that don't look at it and say, okay. She can do it, men have the strength. We all have the strength in us. Somehow we need people for push we. But guess what? Sometimes we cannot rely on people to push us to the next level in our life. We have to climb the hill. We have to go up on we knee. We have to crawl. And we have to go right We have to bruise up we knee. We have to scrape up. And sometimes I water one come. And we have to hold it in in our life. No make nobody say you want to cry, and no make nobody say you feel a way, but you push through. Sometimes you have to put on a thick skin. Come, go, and go out there bravely and say, Look here, I know what I want, and I am going for what I want. The moment you make what people say or do stop you, you can never reach to the stage of success. Now, success is not coming out pretty wrapping paper and come smooth. Success in life or in anything that you do come with sleepless night, swell up foot, pain a back, pain a shoulder, thirstiness, hungriness, tiredness, stress, heartache, headache, cause cause. Because guess what? All of these things come to hinder you from getting success or being successful into your life. Anything where you say I come to you too easy and just smooth like butter, it not going to last. And that is not something that we must settle for. We must settle for the other. Like in the Bible says, there's a way seems right to a man, but in the end it's bitter. So you have the little narrow road. Where rocky and ruggy and rock stone the planet and you have the big road where paved with gold. Enough people rather go on the big road where paved with gold because them say, Lord God, over the road they're pretty, so me can walk and my foot not hurt me. But you know we show they forgot pan the one who have rocks, bricks, thorns and stones the night to cut you up. Because you know say so you're going to take your time and you're going to walk through that road and no say so no rock stone now go juke you. Not now go Put you over, and even if it do pitch you over or fall it over, you have to get up back and continue to walk. Continue to go through that path. Because you know what you want. Nobody else know for you, you know. People can only assume. Success fails us when we become weak, when we become helpless, and we allow others or what they say or what they do to put us into a position where we start fret and feel like we have feel. Sometimes even if you feel like you have feel, you must have the winning aspect in you if you say, no, me never go feel, me never born to be a failure and this is not a part of my portion. We can't look over this up our neighbor and look down this up our neighbor and say, show me give up because my neighbor win and me now win. We have to be with our own success. We have to fight for the success where we want. We have to fight for the opportunities that we want in life. Just like how we send our children to school to have an education to learn. Sometimes, oh, some of our children them 
brain quick and then catch on and sometimes some of them brain slow you have to send them got extra lesson and get special teacher and get etc for deal with them for them learn what they are being taught but on the other hand you have those who everything when the teacher said them remember and every formula that is given to solve the math problem they know it and they can work it out but that does not stop both the one that is slow and the one that is fast from achieving their goals because they are willing to work one willing to work fast and one willing to work slow and sometimes we need to just sit down close your eyes and visionize yourself visionize which part we want to be visionize the journey where we are going for example look if you can see yourself 10 years down the line close your eyes and just look at your pathway some of you go say boy i'm close my eyes and cannot be a darkness me say we're supposed to close your eyes and reflect and say this is where i want to go i am not in school anymore and when i was in school i couldn't learn or i couldn't get this but I know what I want in life so I'm going to visionize it and I'm going to work on it and I'm going to go towards it stop taking defeat for an answer stop telling yourself I can't bother stop telling yourself Lord Jesus I try and I fail and I just have to give up no, be your biggest motivator be your own motivator to where you want to be in life Anybody can do it. Any one of us. My grandmother said, the, the older the moon and the brighter it shine. That means that the older you get, you, 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 you have more wisdom in you. You see other things, things that you, 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 you never expect you could have done when you're young, you do it. And, and, and there is no age limit to how success come. No age limit at all not there to how success come for us in life. Some when I when them are 50, some are when them are 20, some are when them are 80, some are when them are 60, some are when them are 70. So I want to use this new year, and this is a lesson to myself too, to tell myself that I can, I will, I must, I will not give up. I must achieve anything that I put my mind out there. This cake season, or any season that I have, if I go into it and, and, and tell myself that I'm in a competition, I could never be successful because I would be worrying about what persons or what my competitors were doing or will be doing this season. I don't go into it in a competition with anybody. I go into it and tell myself that I am going into my baking season and the only thing I want to go into my baking season is strength, determination, and for me to focus and to pray and put God first. I don't go in there and say, Lord God, I wonder if my cakes or my this or my drinks going to taste better than John own. No, because theirs cannot taste like mine and mine cannot taste like theirs. So my main goal and my main focus is to always make sure that whatever it is that I'm putting on, I am putting my 100% best in it. And I can never wrong when I put my 100% best in anything. And you know why a lot of us fail in life? Because we want to do something or be somebody who we are not. We want to do other things that we see people are doing that we were not gifted for. We have to find our niche. Find the little things them that we are good at and work at it. Stop wanting to be somebody else or what, do what somebody else is doing just because you might see that they are doing it and they are doing it well. Sometimes even if they are doing it and they are doing it well, that is not your gift and that is not your route. That is not your avenue. So no matter how hard you try, that will not be successful for you. I am just using this little opportunity and I'm going to do it every week as I started earlier in the year on my Dana Go channel to highlight and to uplift and to motivate. And I was speaking about certain topics on my life that I want to use world to edify, to motivate, to uplift others out of their situation because sometimes all we need is somebody to come to us with a word. And tonight I'm coming with a word that failure and success are two action words. 
success is work and failure is when you don't you choose not to work failure is when you choose to stop fighting and accept defeat success is when you continue to fight and accept and know that you are going for what you want in life so take it this evening we're either going to choose failure or we're going to choose success i will never ever choose failure as a part of my mandate success is the mandate that i am following and i am keeping focus and i am continuing to strive in everything i do with god by my side